This is a video of a minimally invasive percutaneous spinal cord stimulator implant using two electrode leads, a spinal cord stimulator as a device to help manage chronic pain. The device will help to turn a painful abnormal sensation to a non-painful sensation. In the operating room, the patient is prepped and draped in a sterile fashion and through a needle the electrode wires are placed with a standard loss of resistance technique. Using minimal sedation and liberal skin anesthesia, a glass syringe is attached to the needle and using the aid of fluoroscopy, which is an x-ray, the physician can feel and guide the needle to the appropriate epidural space. And then the electrode wire can be passed to the previous site of the successful trial using the aid of an x-ray. The x-ray screen shows the separate eight contact electrode wires being placed. The companies make a variety of different electrode arrays that can be placed through a needle, which is percutaneously, which is a less invasive style of surgery. Once the electrode wires are placed in an appropriate position, the device is connected to a cable and in a sterile fashion with the patient awake and talking, the device is analyzed to make sure that the patient has a comfortable appropriate sensation in the area of previous chronic pain. Once proper placement is ensured, sedation is deepened, and a small skin incision is made between the needles and at the predetermined level in the buttock for placement of the computer battery. The needles are removed, the wires are pulled into the surgical site, sutures are placed to hold the battery down, and the wires are tunneled from the back to the buttock site and anchored to the muscle. In this surgery, we cut down to the muscle, but we do not cut muscle. And there is nothing cut other than skin and fatty tissue. The battery is anchored two centimeters under the skin And using a sterile technique, the system is analyzed and programmed to ensure that it's in proper working order before the incisions are closed. Once it is confirmed that the device is in full working order, the incisions are closed in layers with suture material. Although it is a minimally invasive surgery, the patient will have two small incisions. Patients can go home the same day and will generally follow up in one to two weeks.